Welcome back to Paleo Friends. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my gardening tips and what I personally use to generate gold and to generate enough resources to make focus food. Alrighty, so let's head over to my garden and I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. For starters, don't look at all of this giant mess over here. I'm currently in the process of switching up my arrangement and everything and trying to get all of my crops, you know, where they are harvestable so that I can start moving them around and planting different stuff for a different layout. So don't mind this whatsoever. But what I want to show you guys is actually this layout here as this is going to be the layout that I'm trying to convert all of my stuff over to because in my opinion it has the perfect balance between you know profiting and making gold and then also for making the ingredients you need to make a really good focus food to help keep your focus bar up at all times so let's go ahead and go over the layout as you can see here from a top-down view we have four tomato plants we have one wheat in the center and then we have four potato plants all right as you can see we have the wheat positioned here in the center we have the four on all four sides of the wheat. We actually have the tomatoes, so the tomatoes are touching the wheat. And then on all four corners, we have the individual potato plants. So if we go ahead and press G, we can actually see the different buffs and stuff in the different specific crops. So starting us off, you can see that all the potato plants, which are going to be the ones here on all four corners, have the water retain buff. We can see that the wheat in the center also has the water retain buff, and then we can see all four of the tomato plants are actually getting a water retain buff and a harvest boost buff. And this harvest boost actually allows you to get more tomatoes from harvesting these plants. And the positioning of your specific crops makes a massive difference in the boost that it provides and also the type of crop. The reason why this layout works very, very well is because having the harvest boost on the tomatoes will allow you to get more tomatoes, thus allowing you to turn those more into seeds and then you can sell those seeds aka for the gold profit side however though with the potatoes being on here getting the water retain it just simply gives them the ability to last a little bit longer without having to be watered but what's really nice about having the potatoes on here is we're actually going to be utilizing those to produce the focus food so it's a really nice balance and if you keep this exact same layout through all of your plots obviously it's just going to increase the yield that you get from them so now when it comes to making gold utilizing this plot let's go over the steps of what exactly i do all right so anyways we go ahead and harvest the entire plot as you can see here we're going to take our tomatoes and we're actually going to go to a cedar all right and once we're here at the cedar hopefully you guys have accumulated enough starred version of the tomatoes because those are going to actually produce a star quality seed and that star quality seed is actually worth more gold so to give you guys an example here we're going to go ahead and put the tomatoes in you can only hold 30 at a time per cedar and then you can see that it's going to output the tomato seeds and then you can see down here that one of these tomato seeds are going to be worth a value of 60 and you can see we only have four here but it still is accumulating up to 840 gold simply for for these four seeds now the whole idea is for you to obviously mass produce these seeds keep roughly about a hundred of them in your inventory at all times and then actually sell the rest of them via your shipping bin simply save what you want to save and then throw the rest of the star seeds here into your shipping bin and then just simply sell them off it's an easy way to make a lot of gold passively by via your farming and yes this method still works really well to generate passive amount of gold even after the tomato seed nerf that they just implemented in the last patch and it's also worth mentioning you don't have to do this with only star version of tomatoes you can actually use the standard version obviously they're going to sell for just a little bit less gold Alrighty, so then diving into the second part of this video and that is generating a really good easy focus food once again passively we're going to go ahead and take obviously our potatoes which is going to be left from this year yield on this plot layout we're gonna head inside really quick by the way this is my lovely little cozy I guess bachelor pad if you will because I'm technically not married inside of Palea yet um it's 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 all right it's all right I'll give you guys a little bit of a quick tour here you got to be fast pause the video if you want to see something interesting but um anyways that's going to be kind of what our layout overall is and I did actually generate the new porch um it did take my skateboard though by the way unfortunately because of the glitch but either way what we're going to do is we're going to actually take the potatoes and we're going to head over here to the preserves jar now what's cool about the preserves jar is it's a passive easy way to generate a resource um, in this case we're going to go ahead and put our extra potatoes that we have once again saving about roughly maybe a hundred in your stash to use for recipes or other things but we're going to go ahead and throw a stack of 30 into the preserves jar at all times what this is going to do is roughly once per hour it's going to generate a pickled potato now a pickled potato is going to generate or give you 270 focus points which is actually a really good point 
for a focus food, right? Because it doesn't really require you a whole lot to do. You just throw the pickle or the potatoes in there and they will passively generate and convert over to pickled potatoes, giving you a standard of 270, which again is not a bad base value for focus food that you're just going to be generating and eating all the time. Additionally, here into obviously eating it for focus, you also can see the base value isn't bad either at 68 gold. It's technically worth what eight more gold, I think, than the tomato seeds are. So in theory, you could sell off your extra pick, um, pickled potatoes if you have some for, you know, some quick, easy gold on top of utilizing it for focus food. And once again, this is why I love this farming plot layout, because it simply allows me to passively generate gold while also still making sure that I have a good amount of focus food on the side. So then when I log into the game, I collect everything, sell off what I need, make the gold I want, and then I have food now to sustain me to do whatever activity that I'm doing to ensure I'm never not getting the bonus experience. And that's essentially going to be the entire, you know, method to my madness here inside of Palea. You guys let me know what your thoughts are, by the way, on this layout. Maybe you got some additional cool layouts that you think that I should try myself. Let me know down below in the comment section. But overall, guys, hopefully this video helps you out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Palea related. And with that being said, as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.